Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from ClicksGate.com, and in today's video, we're going to go over how to change your bid strategy in Google Ads. Now, this might seem like something easy to do if you're, you know, more experienced with Google Ads, but there's a lot of people who just don't really understand how to make the switch. And uh, also in this video, I'm going to talk about why and when the right time is to make the switch to a new bid strategy because that's really important and if you do it wrong you're going to crush your campaign so if you go into your campaign you can see here we're in one of our client accounts go into the campaign you're gonna come under settings let that populate for a minute and come right here to the bidding column it's gonna be a drop-down box and you can easily just hit change bid strategy and you have a few options here all right now I have several videos walking you through how each of these bidding options works. So that's up to you guys if you want to uh, go check that out. It's under our one of our playlists for bidding. And um, you can just go to our channel and just look for the playlist for uh, Google Ads Bidding, I believe it's called, and watch all those different bid strategies here. But this is just for this video, I'm just going to show you how to change it. All right. So if you just come under the bidding column, click that, it's going to pull down your drop down box here. You have. <clears throat> Conversions, so this is all bidding based on different conversion strategies, which is maximize conversions. Or if you want to set a target cost per lead, you hit that, and this becomes target CPA then. And Google will suggest um, a lead price, and their algorithm will go to work trying to get that, get you leads for this price. So that's just how that too works. So if you want to change to that, conversion value. Now this is if you want to bid if you want Google to auto bid for you and you set a conversion value to try and get you that value per conversion, it'll do that. Or you can set one here, kind of like target CPA, but it's target return on ad spend. If you go right here, it gives you a little brief example. Uh, if your goal is to get an average of $5 in sales for each $1 you spend on ads, your target ROAS would be 500%. All right, so that's how it's kind of giving you an example of how you should set this. I don't really mess around with this one too much. Uh, then we got clicks. So this is you're letting Google's algorithm try and get you the most amount of clicks within your daily budget. The only thing with this is if you do use this strategy, I highly recommend that you set a maximum cost per click because I've seen Google go totally insane with, um, I think we ran this once in, uh, I mean, I run this all the time, but we ran, when we first started out, we ran it once in, uh, I believe it was a limo industry and the guy was Google was bidding the next day we were looking at the campaign data and we're like what the hell is going on and the guy it was the Google was bidding like hundred and fifty dollars for like limo limo rent a limousine near me like crazy stuff like that so it's really important that you always set a cap and tell this basically you set it here and just be like you know whatever you want but I would set your cap based on the high end of what uh, the estimated top of the page bid price is which you can find in uh, the keyword planner I have, I have a ton of videos on that too if you want to check that out in the playlist for um, bidding and um, yeah so you want to make sure you set a maximum CPC bid limit otherwise Google is going to go insane now if you do set this like I said make sure you set it on the higher side so you're not handicapping your ads and not letting Google bid enough to even get you on the first page because otherwise that's gonna be a, another whole problem that you gotta deal with and then you can do impression share so where do you want your ads to appear? Anywhere in the results page, which basically just means anywhere in the first page, including the bottom. So I would stay away from that. Top of the results page is what I usually do when I do this one. Or absolute top of the results page, which is just the, like the top one or two spots, usually one. So that's pretty much how you uh, would go in here and switch. Now there is one more option too. If you come down here, click this, come back up here, you can actually choose manual bidding again. Then you have two options, optimize for conversions or optimize for conversion value. And um, that's only if you have enhanced CPC checked. Um, I always use it, honestly. And if you don't know what that is, you can come over here. It gives you a little little thing. It's kind of like a hybrid. You're letting Google, you're setting your, your bids yourself, but you're letting Google also raise bids if they think it's going to generate another conversion for you. So that's pretty much how you would come in here and change your bids. Now the question becomes, why would you change your bids? All right, so if you come into this campaign, and in this campaign we're using an auto bid strategy called Maximize Conversions. And um, it's a great strategy. And if you guys don't know what it is or how it works, again, go to my channel, Clicks Geek, and there's a playlist for 
uh, bidding strategies and maximize conversions is, is one of them on there where I walk through how it works and all that stuff. But it's definitely something you want to do after you've already had some solid data in the campaign for at least 30 days. Then after you have 30 days of data, then's the time to switch on an auto bid strategy like maximize conversions or target CPA or something like that. And like I said, guys, if you don't understand how any of these, what any of these bid strategies are, how they work, just go to the channel and start watching videos. I go through each one in detail. So the, my, whole, my whole point was about this was um, if you need to change your bid strategy, it might it might be two of two things. OK, so it's either that you're bidding too low <coughs> or you can't compete because um, you don't really know what you're doing with bids. And that's OK. And if you're new to Google Ads then <coughs> excuse me, guys, if you're new to Google Ads, it, it, it's it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty hard to understand all the stuff, and so that's why you have to go through and start learning and watching videos and doing a lot of stuff. But if you have to change your bids, then you definitely should go with an auto bid. If you're not sure where to start, I would highly recommend when you start your AdWords campaign that you start with maximize clicks and set a bid limit cap based on the what the estimated highest top of the page bid is, and just set that for each of your ad groups and let Google do all the heavy lifting. They will go in and start bidding all of your keywords for you. So that's what I would suggest uh, to start. And then once you have at least 25 conversions within 30 days, then you could flip on over to an automated uh, conversion strategy, which will maximize conversions or target CPA, something like that. So that's pretty much what you want to do and how you want to change your bids. Because honestly, manual bidding with um, all of Google's algorithm stuff now with the bidding is you're not really... You're kind of setting yourself up for failure. I still do it in a lot of accounts, manual bidding, only because it works so I don't have any reason you know the old if it's not broken type thing so I I still I still manual bid every now and then but if you have to if your campaign's failing and you have to change your bid strategy I would highly recommend you start out with maximize clicks with a bid limit cap and um, also keep it in mind it make sure the traffic going to your website or your landing page or whatever it is is good traffic All right so a lot of this has to do with diagnosing why you're not getting calls you're not getting leads and a lot of that has to do with the keywords you're sending. So if our client's a junk removal client in Virginia Beach and Chesapeake and all these areas, Norfolk, this is really, go to, go to your keywords, search terms. These are the actual search terms being typed into Google that our ad's showing for. You can see here, look how on point these keywords are. They're exactly what we want. So if, if we're getting keywords like this and this campaign is not converting into calls and, and leads, form submission leads, then we know for a fact it's not the AdWords campaign the AdWords campaign is doing its job. It's sending us very targeted, specific traffic that we want. Our ads are working because we're getting clicks. We're getting traffic. The traffic is hitting a wall. All right, so the other end of that equation is, all right, well, traffic's good. Why are we not getting calls? It's your landing page, all right? It's your website. Wherever you're sending the traffic to is failing you. So a lot of AdWords, a lot of Google ads is all about diagnosing problems with your campaign and just kind of fixing them on the fly. So if you don't understand how to how to do that either, if you if you if you're running into this problem I just explained where you're getting great traffic but you're not getting leads or phone calls, then you have a you have a conversion problem, which is your landing page or your website or wherever you're sending the traffic to. So if you need to know how to fix that type of stuff, again, go to the Clicks Geek channel, and I have a ton of videos on uh, landing pages and stuff like that and how to get your pages your pages converting. But another thing too, a lot of people skip over is before you even decide to try and tweak your landing page or your website because it's not converting, make sure you actually have conversion tracking set up. Okay? Really, really important. You need to be able to, tra to track phone calls that come from this AdWords campaign. You need to be able to track form submission leads. If you're not tracking conversions, you have no idea if you're making money or losing money. Well, we know you're, yeah, I mean, you don't really know. There's no way to know. So you have to have your conversion tracking set up too. So, I mean, I know I kind of went off on a tangent here, but if you're trying to change your bid strategy, you have to take several things into consideration when you're doing that is my whole point. All right. So hopefully this uh, video gave you guys a little bit of value. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to check out the links in the description. I put some cool stuff in there for you guys, including a uh, link to our new three-part video series called Google Ads Optimization Combat Tactics, where I walk you through how to get your, your Google Ads campaigns performing and uh, keep them optimized and keep them pumping out leads for you on the regular. All right, guys. Catch you later.